I'm Anya from OurGuildHome.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can crochet a soap saver. If you don't know what it is, it looks like this. And what might you need it for? Well, if you're like us, you might have these little soap pieces left and that sometimes like to just like slip into the shower drain or you would like to have something for your soap so that your soap doesn't get all gooey and uh, wasteful in the shower so you can either slip your new bar soap in here it has a little drawstring you can hang it from a hook in the shower or if that's what you're using by the kitchen sink you could have it close to your kitchen sink and if you have these little soap pieces that I just showed you, you can collect them and simply put them in here and then you can use them all the way up to the end. So this is really easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, I wish I knew how to crochet, then Last week, I actually recorded a video teaching you how you can make very basic crochet and knitting stitches, and I'm linking it here so that you can go to this video, watch it, and then you can make this really simple project that um, somebody could probably finish in, I don't know, maybe half an hour, or if you're a beginner, you're just learning and you're going slow, you could do this in an hour or so, easily do it in an afternoon. For this project, I am using a really nice 100% flax, 100% linen yarn. Um, that's a really durable one. It gets a little bit softer with use. However, if you like a little bit of the exfoliating nature of this, you might even consider using something like a seesaw yarn, although that's a little bit harder on your hands. You could also use a regular cotton, anything that you would use for making a dishcloth. And there's really beautiful cotton linen blends out there that would be really perfect for this project as well. Also, you will need a crochet hook. Again, I'm linking all the products I'm mentioning in this video in the description box below this video. And you will need a darning needle so that you can put this drawstring here in to your soap saver. Now let's begin. So first we'll make a slip knot. not working the way I want it and with a chain stitch I'm just about casting on 15 stitches very simple chain stitch and then I like to measure the width of my bar soap so I like to make it a little bit wider than what I need for this three and a half ounce bar soap. And then I'll do a second row. Very simple, single crochet stitch. Grab my yarn and go ahead and finish that second row. I'll add the end of the row one more chain stitch, turn around, and crochet a third row. I'm just gonna quickly do that. And once I'm at the end of my third row, I will go into the first stitch of the first row. First stitch of the first row. and this will create the bottom of the soap saver bag. And I'm simply gonna pick up those stitches and that will also create a round. So here you can see how I've done 
a few rounds. It's a little bit twisted. It's a little bit hard to make it straight so you can see it. Every so often I like to check my work and obviously I need to keep going a little bit more, but you can already see the shape of the bag. So now I have gone up this much and it looks like this will easily fit my three and a half ounce bar soap in there. So I'm just going to check it, make sure that it's long enough and that I can even add a bit of drawstring. So perfect. It's a little stretchy. Like I said, it's a little bit bigger than I needed it. And then I just cut off the ends and finish my soap server back by weaving in the ends. And for the drawstring, I'm casting on again about 32, you could do 35 stitches, simple chain stitch. I like my drawstring to be a little bit more than twice as wide as my soap saver bag. And I'll cut off the end. I always like to be generous here. Pull it through. And then I'm using my darning needle. And weave the drawstring not at the top row but just about a few rows in and i'm just gonna go into every other hole to weave the drawstring in and out And once I'm finished, I like to pull the drawstring in evenly so it comes out and then tie the ends together with a few knots so that it doesn't come apart. snip off the ends and here's your soap saver bag with a little drawstring that moves through the holes here very easy one more time here's the soap in it you can see it fits really well and again here is your soap saver your finished project it also makes a beautiful gift that's really easy to make something that kids can do as well and again you slide your new bar soap in here. And as I said in the beginning, you can hang it from a hook by your kitchen sink or in your shower, wherever you like to keep your bar soap. And you can also use up your little soap pieces by putting them into this soap saver. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. So you always get a little notification when I upload a new video, which is every week on Tuesday mornings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.